It was the dawn of time, a race of druids. No one knew who they were or what they were doing. Okay, I think we can officially kick this off now. Um, I'd like to welcome I pr pretty much all of you to the Phone Losers of America 10th Anniversary Spectacular, including these fist logos that, uh, you know, I think perfectly represent Hope 5. They have the five fingers, um, the five. So we, we thought we'd integrate it just for the purposes of this panel with, um, with some other iconography. So if you would do the honors. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, this is a perfect integration of, uh, of I think, what we, uh, what we hope to do and what we hope to accomplish today. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Radio Shack. You've got questions all. we got to answer. <laughs> yeah. We'd like to get one of your Radio Shack 33 memory phone dialers, please. Uh, uh, oh, okay, what's the part number on that? Well, it's 43146, of course. Oh, uh, hold on a sec. All right. Oh, like you got questions, we got blank stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. But anyway, that was Elephant and Bird, uh, and I think we can all take uh, we can all take their adventures and their trials and tribulations to heart in this case. Well, it sure was more entertaining than a takedown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play has not always been known for uh, phone-related pranks and uh, stunts and things. What you saw just now is a dramatization, but they've also they've also uh, become quite well known for their live pranks. One of which we're about to see. This was, uh, this was the classic um, taking over a fast food restaurant's drive-through radio. This was, um, this was the line that you would normally call to get the recording of what movies are playing at what times. But um, insta instead of that nice, friendly recording, they ended up getting uh, us. Hi there. Who is this? This is Pizza Hut. Did you get a wrong number? This is not Pizza Hut. I am too Pizza Hut. <laughs> no, you're not. I've got pizzas on the grill right now, right in front of me. Pizza in the on the grill. Excuse me, pizza don't cook on a grill. Oh, you're smarter than me then. You're an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot for not knowing how to cook a pizza. In my, I have cops out my building, three cop cars, and they're going to, you can get in jail for this. I can get in jail? You can be put in jail for threatening people. You don't speak very well. Is that why you're working there? Pizza Hut, can I help you? Is this the movie theater? No, it's Pizza yes, Hut. Yes, it sure is. How can we help you? Oh, um, I just want the listings of the movies. I didn't know. Uh, which movie do you want to see? Because uh, I'm not going to tell, tell you all of them. Oh, okay. Cabin Fever? Uh, I'm sorry. Are you over 17? Yes. You are 17. Uh, yes. can, you, can you read off your uh, social security number for me? Well, uh, isn't it just we can just see what time the movie is? Because usually they're uh, not I need recording. Your... I need your social security number for you, for you, make sure you're 17. Oh, well, I don't have my, I'm calling from home. I don't have my stuff with me, like right here. <laughs> and her, her mom calls back about five minutes later. What am I, can I help you? Yes, hi, my daughter just called to find out what the, hello? Yes, hello. Yeah. Um, to find out what the uh, movies hey. are. Well, um, you just asked her the social security number. Oh, that would, that would have been Nathan. He's, he's also works here. Okay, well, I'm going to report him because he's not supposed to be asking that. Well, he, he needs our social security number so we can confirm how old she is. No, you never ask anybody social security number. That's against the law to ask people their social security number. Well, how are we supposed to know she's over 17? You ask for an ID when they get there. You don't ask over the phone. That's against the law. You could... But could, could, she hold her, could she give her ID over the phone? I get her driver's license number. No, it's against the law. So you guys better stop it right now. What, to ask for ID? To ask for somebody's social security number. It's against the law. Well, we just have to find out if she's old enough. We, no, we can't have kids no I'll report movie. you guys if you do that again. Well, we will do it again. We, that's our policy. <laughs> no, nope, bye. That's our policy, bitch. <laughs> that, of course, was our own uh, Murdoch and yeah. Redbox Chili Pepper yeah. once again. As you can you see, we spend our Saturdays on the telephone. <laughs> we're, we're lonely people. Yeah. yeah. 
Should we give, give okay, another another or? thing uh, another thing that started up rather recently. Um, one cultural meme that's been and gone, and uh, for some people hopefully will stay gone, is the flash mob. Now um, we decided to take this concept, and um, we we actually would have to leave the house for that, and we didn't like that at all. So um, it so, scares us. Yes, we we decided uh, we came up with a little something called the phone mob, which uh, which my dear friend Judas will now elucidate. Uh, basically what a phone mob is, is we get a group of people together and pre-plan a target, such as a radio show. Um, Good morning, what's your bid? I'd like to bid $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, what's your bid? I would like to bid $48 on a carton of cigarettes and a pack of lights. Good morning, what's your bid? I would like to put uh, 27 pesos on the uh, saxophone lesbian. Thank you. Good morning. What's your bid? I'd like to bid uh, $5. Good morning. What's your bid? Yes, I'd like to bid on the cactus. <laughs> the cactus is good. Good morning. What's your bid? I would like to bid 40 rubles on one of the children from the children's party. Good morning. What's your bid? I would like to bid 50 rubles for the sex of one lesbian. Instead, why don't you find something else to besides play on the phone like you're 10? Good morning, what's your bid? Uh, cactus, 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 cactus. <laughs> cactus, cactus. And cactus. How about a life, a life, a life, a life, a life, a life? <laughs> That went on for about yeah. 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If, no, uh, no joke, 45 minutes worth. If you guys want to hear the rest of that, we have all these clips on yeah, the phone. We have website. media CDs it. for you to have. We have our PLA media CDs. We have a limited supply, but uh, at the end of the panel, just come right up and grab one. Yes. It's got we can't afford cases got. or anything, but uh, it, has, uh, it has all our prank call clips, our live video clips, uh, and a snapshot of the website and the entire content of the site, and uh, some other stuff that I don't even oh, know uh, about. Every archive of the site since it's been up yeah. since 1997. Pretty much. Yeah. So good stuff here. And um, if anyone wants to, us to uh, explain Cactus and everything behind Cactus, well, I'm sorry, we won't. Yeah. So, <laughs> questions and answers. We have, we, have a, we have a guy with a mic over here, so ready to run at the first sign of question, protect the guilty. Very, very guilty. Are there any other questions on any subject whatsoever? Well, yes, in the, oh, yeah. in the red shirt here. Where is Logic Box? We love Logic Box. We miss Logic Box. We, we miss Logic Box. From Logic Box. Actually, no, hold, Logic on, Box. hold on, hold on. Yes. Logic Box got kidnapped by Tanist. Oh. Yeah, oh. back in uh, 2000. And as far as we know, still locked up in her basement. Yeah, the last we saw Logic Box, actually, he, um, he was at DEF CON, and he had a photo, a photo taken with um, Carolyn Meinel. And we really don't know what happened well, to him after that. Wait, those was clips? It, wait wasn't that DEF CON uh, 8? One of them. That was like, <laughs> five, that was like four years ago. DEF CON N, I don't know. Yeah. Do we have the kind? But uh, yes, we miss, we miss system clips? failure and everyone involved. So uh, if any of you ever hear this ever, you know, Logic Box, Pinguino, any of you guys, we love you and we miss you. And come back home. Yes. Aww. The children come miss back you. back to the PLA. Yes. Any work for this is running a wonderful panel on Pirate Radio. You all missed it to come here. So I think you, you all deserve a big round of applause Thank for you. that. And now, karaoke. But, uh, yes, we, we have one more question, I believe. Are you guys leaving? Lock the doors quickly. Look, lock the doors. Lock you the doors. When you come back, bring pie. Yeah. Do you guys usually train for uh, the right. prank calls or like the videos or anything like before beforehand? I'm sorry? Do you guys train beforehand? Hey, <laughs> Quick, run! Run to the run CDs! To a customer. Get the CDs! Like a There's free shit! Go! Go! go. I can't. I Whoa! Okay, okay. Plenty of CDs to go around. Plenty of CDs. It's a flash mob. <laughs> okay. Throw the CDs like Ninja Stars. <laughs> Split them up among whoever's near you. Does anybody want the PLA DVD or can I give it out? One of them for our great friend, iconoclast, christianhacker.org, I think is uh, still good. Yes. Give me CDs. What they don't know is that these are all blank. 